What's up, Core Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Tia Mori is now setting the record straight after she set the internet ablaze when she claimed in a trailer of her a forthcoming show that she and her sister Tamara are just not as close as they used to be. Uh, I gotta say before I get into this interview that she gave to Us Magazine that I feel like she's kind of insulting people's intelligence at this point because she's sitting here saying, oh, um, you know, you guys misinterpreted what I said. Like, that's not what I meant at all. And, you know, I'm gonna go back and read her initial quote so that we can all like see that we are being gaslit collectively here. And I just, I, I don't take too kindly to being played with. Um, let me read it. And then we're going to get into Tia's uh, explanation as she kind of backtracks on everything. I really feel like all of this controversy was perfectly carefully orchestrated in order to garner buzz for her show. People love negativity. People love family estrangements. Um, it's A lot of people have been mentioning the fact that them being twins and not close is very interesting to them. So, you know, that's got its whole other, other element. Like they wanted this kind of attention and now they're trying to act like she didn't say the exact same things that the exact things that she needed to say in order to garner it, right? So let me quote her initial claims. Uh, Crying, as you can see in this image, Tia said, I wish I could pick up the phone and call her, obviously in reference to her sister Tamara, wishing that they were closer. Um, but that's just not where we are right now. Um, continuing with the quote, she says, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. So the quote ends there. I, and let me just repeat it. I wish I could pick up the phone and call her, but that is just not where we are right now now so when someone says that obviously you come to the conclusion that they are just not as close to the other person as they used to be to the point where they would be able to just pick up the phone and call this person well now tia is saying that that's not what she meant <laughs> here you go uh quote you could hear it from me and this is basically what i was insinuating i feel like as we grow up we all start our own families and their children need to lean on them we begin to take on new roles and responsibilities within our lives. Um, and that is what that was all about. Uh, in these transitions in lives, sometimes you just want to hug and you just want someone to be as accessible as they used to be. And that is not the case. It is called life, right? I love my sister very much. She loves me very much. We have a closeness and a beautiful connection, but that's what that was all about. It's just how life unfolds and it happens with many families. Um, and so uh, she says in response to her comments garnering a lot of attention, Tia's like, well, listen, that is not surprising. When you've been in this industry for over 30 years, things are always taken out of context and it is what it is. The only thing that I can do is control my behaviors and, the be and be the best person I could possibly be. And that's what both of us are. We are incredible, inspiring examples, and we have been that all our lives. So why change that now? So as you can see, like in her kind of rebuttal with Us Weekly, she's like, I didn't mean we weren't like emotionally close. I mean, she's busy and she lives far. I live in LA, uh, Tamara lives in Napa. Like that is the real crux of the issue. But I don't know. I kind of felt like when you say that you wish you could pick up the call, like that transcends um, busyness, that transcends like location, right? Like. For example, my sister and I, I live in France, my sister lives in Canada, but like we always make time to call. For example, she called me this morning. I could not um, pick up that call because I had like, you know, appointments in town. And then like now here I am working, catching up on time I lost, you know, at these appointments and whatnot. So I have not called her back yet, but she knows that she can pick up and call. Just like if I call her and she's not available even, um, she calls me and I just know that like we're, we're in that place, you know? So to me, this, this isn't a good enough excuse, you know, especially when the two of you live in the exact same state, you know, my sister, she, she too has children. Um, and still she makes the time for me, just like I still make the time for her despite having, you know, a busy schedule, despite being six hours ahead and just everything else that, you know, I've got going on. So I, I feel like maybe, Tamara is upset about the backlash and she didn't want it to be out there. But, and here's another aspect that I want to add for those of you who like me used to watch a reality show on the E network. Like it was painfully obvious that they are not as close as for example, Mary Kate and Ashley are right. Um, 
there was always like some kind of like animosity between the two of them, like underlying uh, in like their interactions with one another. Like I remember, for example, Tamara didn't want Tia to be her maid of honor during her wedding. And then like she had Tia clashing with her maid of honor. And then there were times where Tia booked something and uh, uh, she would ask Tamara, she was jealous that she booked this thing. Like there were just like a lot of very odd moments. And I remember watching that, you know, ironically enough with my own sister, you know, when we both, uh, lived together and um yeah like i think that's why people rushed to even talk about this and say you know like yeah this this checks out this is how they've been representing their relationship for a long time mm, anyway listen all of this controversy is good for tia because it is going to line her pockets when her reality show finally debuts. It's going to debut in a couple of weeks, mid-October. Um, I definitely will be tuning in. I think I'm going to do recaps of it uh, for my ch channel here, or at least on TikTok, but most likely the two. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do, because we will be talking about it. We will be keeping an eye on it. I, I like Tia and Tamara, and it's time for their Christmas movie. What is it, Halloween Town or something like that? It's time for their w a Halloween movie to air. And, um, you know, in the spirit of that, let's let's keep an eye on them and hope that everything goes well. I wonder if we're even going to be seeing a cameo of Tamara. I would hope that Tamara, you know, had the time to actually be there for her sister in person when all of this divorce stuff was first going on. Like, I feel like that's something you wouldn't want to miss. Like, you would definitely want to be as close as possible, right? Like, you know, Tamara's not a single mom. She's got a husband, you know, her husband's family. Her husband has a very flexible job to where, like, it's, you know, it's not like a big deal, like with, you know, regular people where the person can't, like, just get out of the office to, like, you know, corral children or whatever. Like, she has the flexibility, you know, and her own job is very flexible as well. So um, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not she dropped everything to be there for her sister during this time. And if she didn't, I'm sorry, but it's going to check out with the Tia's initial quote that she is now backtracking on. But I digress. You guys, let me know what you think about this. And also let me know, will you be tuning into the show? That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.